You're a senior, navigating the treacherous waters of retirement. Fixed income, rising costs, the constant anxiety of making ends meet, every dollar matters, every cent is a lifeline. And then, suddenly, a glimmer of hope emerges from the most unexpected place, the Canadian Revenue Agency. The story begins in the heart of a system that has long been perceived as cold, calculating, impersonal. But today, something extraordinary is happening. The $1,850 senior support increase isn't just a number, it's a beacon of hope. It's a testament to a compassionate society that refuses to leave its most vulnerable behind. Let me take you deep into the intricate world of senior financial support, where every detail matters and every dollar tells a story of survival, dignity, and resilience. This isn't just about money, this is about humanity. This is about recognizing the immense contribution of a generation that built the foundation of our modern Canadian society. Imagine the relief washing over seniors who have been silently struggling. Imagine the tears of gratitude, the sighs of momentary peace, the ability to breathe a little easier, to worry a little less. This increase isn't just financial support, it's emotional liberation. But how did we get here? What complex machinery of government and social policy conspired to create this moment of unprecedented support? The journey is as fascinating as the destination. It's a narrative woven with political negotiations, economic analyses, demographic shifts, and most importantly, human stories. The Canadian Revenue Agency didn't just wake up one morning and decide to be generous. This was the result of years of advocacy, research, persistent lobbying, and a growing recognition of the economic challenges facing seniors. Each dollar of this increase represents countless hours of debate, numerous policy meetings, and a profound understanding of the real-world struggles of an aging population. Consider the broader context. Canada's demographics are shifting. The baby boomer generation is entering retirement in massive numbers. Traditional pension structures are evolving, healthcare costs are rising, inflation eats away at fixed incomes. In this complex landscape, the $1,850 support increase is more than just money, it's a strategic response to a fundamental societal transformation. But here's the twist that will keep you on the edge of your seat. This isn't just about the money, it's about dignity, it's about respect. It's about acknowledging the immense contribution of a generation that worked tirelessly to build the Canada we know today. Every senior has a story. Some fought in wars, some built industries from scratch, some raised families through economic recessions, some were educators, innovators, caregivers. Each of them has a narrative of sacrifice, resilience, and unwavering commitment to community. And now, the Canadian government is saying, we see you, we value you, we will support you. The $1,850 increase might seem like a simple financial adjustment to some, but to the seniors receiving it, it could mean the difference between barely surviving and actually living. It could mean affording better health care. It could mean occasional treats that were previously unimaginable. It could mean reducing the financial burden on their families. Let's dive deeper into the mechanics. How exactly will this support be distributed? Who qualifies? What are the nuanced details that make this more than just a headline? The complexity is breathtaking. The Canadian Revenue Agency has crafted a support mechanism that is both comprehensive and targeted ensuring that the most vulnerable seniors receive the most substantial support. Eligibility isn't arbitrary, it's a carefully calculated formula that takes into account income levels, age, previous contributions to society, and specific financial needs. This isn't a one-size-fits-all approach, this is precision support, tailored to individual circumstances. But beyond the numbers, beyond the policy details, there's a human story waiting to be told. Stories of seniors who will experience real, tangible relief. Stories of reduced stress, of restored hope, of renewed dignity. Consider Maria, a retired teacher who has been stretching her pension, choosing between medication and heating her home. Consider Robert, a veteran who served his country with distinction, now finding it challenging to make ends meet. 
Consider Elizabeth, who spent decades caring for her family and is now facing the financial vulnerabilities of retirement. For them, this $1,850 isn't just money, it's validation, it's recognition, it's a lifeline. The narrative of senior support is complex, it intersects with healthcare policy, economic strategy, social welfare, and fundamental human rights. Each layer reveals another dimension of this incredible story of governmental responsiveness and societal compassion. As we peel back these layers, we discover something profound. This increase is more than a financial adjustment. It's a statement about the kind of society we aspire to be. A society that doesn't just celebrate its youth, but honors and supports its elders. The Canadian Revenue Agency has effectively transformed a bureaucratic process into a powerful social statement. They've shown that policy can be both precise and compassionate, that government can be both efficient and empathetic. But here's the burning question that has been simmering since the beginning of our narrative. How does this support truly transform the lives of seniors? What does $1,850 really mean in the grand tapestry of retirement challenges? The answer is both simple and complex. It means hope. It means relief. It means recognition. For some, it will mean uninterrupted medication. For others, it will mean occasional dining out. For many, it will mean reduced anxiety, a momentary respite from the constant financial pressure that has been their companion through retirement. This isn't just a financial increase, this is a societal commitment, a promise that no senior will be left behind, a testament to the value we place on the generations that came before us. As we conclude this exploration, one thing becomes crystal clear. The $1,850 senior support increase is more than a number. It's a narrative of hope, a story of resilience, a glimpse into a society that understands its moral obligation to its most experienced, most vulnerable citizens. The Canadian Revenue Agency hasn't just issued a financial directive, they've written a new chapter in the ongoing story of Canadian social support, a chapter marked by compassion, precision, and an unwavering commitment to dignity. But what happens behind the scenes? What intricate machinery drives this monumental shift in senior support? The answer lies in a complex web of economic analysis, demographic research, and human-centered policymaking that most Canadians never see. Imagine a room, sterile fluorescent lights, walls lined with charts, graphs, endless spreadsheets. This is where the real magic happens. Policy analysts hunched over computers, their fingers dancing across keyboards, decoding the intricate language of economic survival. Each number tells a story. Each data point represents a life, a struggle, a hope. The demographic tsunami is real. Canada stands at a critical juncture. The baby boomer generation, those born between 1946 and 1964, is flooding into retirement. By 2030, one in four Canadians will be over 65. This isn't just a statistic. This is a seismic shift that threatens to reshape our entire social infrastructure. But here's the twist that most don't understand. This isn't just about supporting seniors. This is about national economic survival. Every dollar invested in senior support creates a ripple effect that touches every aspect of our economy. It's about preventing social isolation. It's about maintaining the purchasing power of an entire generation. It's about keeping seniors active, engaged, and contributing to their communities. The $1,850 increase is strategic. It's calculated with surgical precision. It's not a random act of generosity. It's a carefully constructed lifeline designed to address multiple economic challenges simultaneously. Let's break down the anatomy of this support. It's not just money, it's a multifaceted approach to senior welfare that goes beyond simple financial assistance, healthcare costs, housing challenges, food insecurity, transportation. Each of these becomes a critical battleground in the war against senior poverty. Consider the healthcare dimension. Seniors consume a disproportionate amount of healthcare resources. But here's the less discussed truth. Proper financial support can actually reduce overall healthcare costs. When seniors can afford preventative care, 
when they can maintain proper nutrition, when they can access necessary medications, they require fewer emergency interventions. It's economic wisdom disguised as social support. The housing crisis compounds the challenge. Imagine trying to live on a fixed income in Canada's increasingly expensive housing market. Major cities like Toronto and Vancouver have become financial labyrinths for seniors. A fixed pension, skyrocketing rent, maintenance costs, property taxes, each month becomes a high-stakes game of financial survival. This $1,850 isn't just money, it's a strategic intervention. It's a lifeline thrown to a generation drowning in economic uncertainty. But it's more than that. It's a statement, a declaration that says, you matter, your dignity matters, your survival matters. The Canadian Revenue Agency has essentially created a dynamic support model, not a static handout, but an adaptive system that responds to the evolving needs of seniors. It's like a financial immune system, constantly adjusting, constantly protecting the most vulnerable members of our society. But let's dive deeper. Who are these seniors? They're not just a demographic. They're individuals with rich, complex histories. They're veterans who defended our freedoms. They're teachers who educated generations. They're nurses who cared for us during our most vulnerable moments. They're entrepreneurs who built businesses. They're parents who sacrificed everything to give their children better opportunities. Each senior has a story, a narrative of struggle, resilience, and extraordinary ordinary moments. The $1,850 support isn't just financial assistance. It's a recognition of these lifetime contributions. The economic mechanics are fascinating. This support doesn't just help seniors, it stimulates local economies. Seniors who receive adequate support don't hoard money, they spend it. They support local businesses, they contribute to community economies. It's a multiplier effect that most economic models fail to capture. But here's the provocative question that lies at the heart of this narrative. In a world that worships youth, have we forgotten the immense value of experience? Have we marginalized a generation that holds the collective wisdom of decades? The Canadian Revenue Agency's support is more than a financial directive, it's a cultural reset, it's a message that says experience matters, knowledge matters. The contributions of our elders are not just valuable, they are essential. Consider the technological challenges seniors face, in an increasingly digital world, many find themselves left behind. The support isn't just monetary, it's about providing resources for digital literacy, helping seniors navigate online banking, connecting them with technology training programs, ensuring they're not isolated in an increasingly connected world. Mental health is another critical dimension often overlooked. Financial stress is a silent killer, it erodes dignity, it creates chronic anxiety. By providing this support, the government is doing more than offering money. They're offering peace of mind. They're offering hope. The timing is crucial. We're emerging from a global pandemic that disproportionately affected seniors. COVID-19 wasn't just a health crisis. It was a stark reminder of the vulnerabilities faced by our older population. The $1,850 support is in many ways a healing mechanism, a collective acknowledgement of the trauma and challenges faced during unprecedented times. But this is not a simple linear narrative. It's a complex, multi-dimensional story of societal evolution, of recognizing that supporting seniors is not a cost, but an investment. An investment in social stability, an investment in collective wisdom, an investment in our shared future. The Canadian Revenue Agency has essentially created a model that other nations might study, a blueprint for compassionate, strategic social support. It's not just about giving money, it's about creating a comprehensive ecosystem of support that addresses multiple dimensions of senior welfare. Technology plays a critical role. Digital platforms are being developed to make support access seamless, Online portals, simplified application processes, support helplines. The goal is to make accessing support dignified, not demeaning. But challenges remain. Implementation is complex. 
ensuring that every eligible senior receives support requires tremendous coordination. It's a logistical dance that involves multiple government departments, community organizations, and support networks. The story of senior support is continuously evolving. What we see today is just the beginning, a glimpse into a more compassionate approach to aging, a recognition that retirement is not an end, but a transition, a new phase of life filled with potential, contribution, and continued growth. As we look to the future, one thing becomes clear, the $1,850 support is more than a number, 